Hello everyone! Today we will discuss the rules of subject-verb agreement. First, let us know what is subject-verb agreement. A simple subject-verb agreement definition implies that the subject of the sentence and the verb of the sentence must be in agreement in number. Let's take an example to understand this concept. Example number one. The dog is playing with this ball. In this case, the subject of the sentence is the dog and the verb used is singular in nature is playing. Example number two. The dogs are playing with their ball. In this case, the subject of the sentence is dogs and the verb used is plural in nature are playing. Subject-Verb Agreement Rules Let's explore a series of subject-verb agreement rules required to ask questions based on sentence correction. Rule number one, when two subjects are joined by end, the verb is plural. For example, my friend and his mother are in town. Rule number two, when two singular nouns joined by end refer to the same person or thing, the verb is singular. For example, the captain and the coach of the team has been sacked. In case these were two different individuals, two articles need to be used. The captain and the coach of the team have been sacked. Rule number three. Indefinite pronouns. Everyone, each, one, someone, somebody, no one, nobody, anyone, anybody are always singular. For example, Everyone is selfish. We do not use are in this sentence. This rule does not apply to few, many, several, both, all, some. Rule number four. When the percentage or a part of something is mentioned with plural meaning, the plural verb is used. For example, 40 of every 100 children are malnourished. Rule number five. When the subjects joined by either or or neither nor are of different persons, the verb will agree in person and the number with the noun nearest to it. For example, neither you nor your dogs know how to behave. Either of the books is fine or math preparation. Always remember that when either and neither are used as pronouns, they are treated as singular and always take the singular verb. Rule number six, if connectives or appositives like along with, together with, as well as, accompanied by each other, are used to combine two subjects, the verb agrees with the subject mentioned first. For example, Mr. Ram accompanied by his wife Sita and his brother was banished to the forest. Rule number seven, a number of, the number or, a number of some countable noun is always plural. The number of some countable noun is always singular. For example, a number of students are going on the trip. Rule number eight. The singular verb form is usually used for units of measurement or time. For example, five gallons of oil was required to get the engine running. Rule number nine, when any of you, many, several, both, all, some, it's used with a countable noun, the verb is plural. For example, some men are needed for the battle. Rule number 10, when any of you, many, several, both, all, some, is used with an accountable noun, the verb is singular. For example, some milk is spoiled. Subject-verb agreement is essential to make sure that a sentence is grammatically correct. Thus, the above 10 basic rules can help you to master subject-verb agreement. Parallel structure Parallel structure adds both cloud and clarity to writing. When we use parallel structure, we increase the readability of our writing by creating word patterns readers can follow easily. 
Understanding Parallel Structure Parallel structure is the repetition of a chosen grammatical form within a sentence by making each compared item or idea in your sentence follow the same grammatical pattern. You create a parallel construction. Example Not parallel Ellen likes hiking the rodeo and to take afternoon naps. Parallel Ellen likes hiking, attending the rodeo and taking afternoon naps. Or Ellen likes to hike, attend the rodeo and take afternoon naps. Using parallel structure with coordinating conjunctions. When you connect two or more clauses or phrases with a coordinating conjunction, use parallel structure. Examples Example, not parallel. My best friend took me dancing and to a show. Parallel, my best friend took me to a dance and a show. With correlative conjunction. When you connect two clauses or phrases with a correlative conjunction, use parallel structure. Example, example, not parallel, my dog not only likes to play fetch but also chase cars. Parallel, my dog not only likes to play fetch but he also likes to chase cars. Or my dog likes not only to play fetch but also to chase cars. With phrases or clauses of comparison. When you connect two clauses or phrases with a word of comparison, such as then or as, use parallel structure. Example. Not parallel, I would rather pay for my education than financial aid. Parallel, I would rather pay for my education than receive financial aid. With list. When you are comparing items in a list, use parallel structure. Examples. Not parallel. John Taylor Gatto criticizes public schools because they are compulsory, funded by the government, and destroy students' humanity. Parallel. John Taylor Gatto criticizes public schools because they are compulsory, government-funded, and normalizing. Or, John Taylor Gatto criticizes public schools because they require students to attend, receive money from the government, and destroy students' humanity. Pronoun Antecedent Agreement We use the words called pronouns to refer to or to replace other words, which are always nouns, which we call their antecedents, or reference. Agreeing in person In grammar, when we talk about a person, we are really talking about the relationship between the writer, the reader, and the subject of the conversation. It's like pointing a finger. The first person pronouns are I, me, my, mine, myself, we, us, our, ours, and ourselves. The writers who use first person are obviously referring back to themselves. The finger points back at the writer. Examples I should go home to finish my essay for N3430. The second person pronouns are you, your, and your, yourselves. Writers who use second person are speaking directly to a reader. The pronoun refers directly to the reader. The finger points at the reader. The third person pronouns are he, she, it, they, him, her, them, his, hers, its, and theirs, himself, herself, itself, and themselves. When writers use the third person, the pronoun refers to the persons or things being spoken about. The finger points not at writer or reader, but at someone or something else. Example, she should go home to finish her Ink 3430 essay. Agreement in number. In grammar, number indicates how many, whether something is singular or plural. Pronouns should always agree with their antecedents in number. When two or more antecedents are joined by the word and, then the pronoun referring to the antecedents should be plural. Incorrect example. Helen and Ali showed us her Easter hat. Revised example. Helen and Ali showed us their Easter hats. When two or more singular antecedents are joined by the word or, or, nor, then the pronoun referring to the antecedents should agree with the nearest of the antecedents. Incorrect X. Either the officers or Jeff will present their ideas at the meeting. Revised X. Either the officers or Jeff will present his ideas at the meeting. A pronoun used as the subject of a sentence agrees in number with its antecedent even though the antecedent comes after the pronoun. 
Incorrect X. They are the tourist who signed up for the mountain hike. Revised X. She's the tourist who signed up for the mountain hike. Collective nouns have either singular or plural pronouns depending on the situation. When the collective noun acts as a unit, use a third person singular pronoun. When the individual members of the collective are acting individually, use the third person. Incorrect X. The committee is going to give their approval on Tuesday. Revised X. The committee is going to give its approval on Tuesday. Being gender sensitive. When the gender of an antecedent is not clear or not known, pronouns should not automatically default to either gender. For instance, not all doctors are male or all nurses female. Though not in itself an agreement issue, being gender sensitive sometimes causes agreement problems, most often in numbers. Examples Incorrect X a professor should always write comments on their graded assignments. Revised X a professor should always write comments on his or her graded assignments. Professors should always write comments on their graded assignments. Thank you for watching.